I'm joined here by Paul Roach of, of the famous Doctor's Wing. Uh, thanks very much, Paul, for joining no us. Good to be here. Yeah, uh, you gave a concert here last night, Paul, yes, yeah. in the West County here. It was absolutely amazing. A packed house, and you had them just rolling the aisles after, is it 40 years? 40 years. It's hard to believe that it's 40 years, and, uh, you know, literally, we didn't think that uh, 40 years on we'd be still going, but we are, and the great thing about it is that we're, we're actually enjoying it more now than we ever did before. Yeah, I suppose, Fantastic. yeah. 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 The early days were kind of innovative. Yeah, well, you know, when you're, when you're young and you, you start off on the road, like you haven't a clue. So you yeah. do an awful lot of learning, you, know, you do an awful lot of growing up very quickly. Yes. But, I mean, just gigs like last night, for us, you know, you can look back and, I mean, we so much enjoyed the gig last night. It was just, yeah. you know, anybody that was there. And, and to play in front of your own as well, because they're your biggest critics. You yeah. know, so it's very special towards us. So we really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. it was great to look around the crowd Fantastic. and see them. In the end. But uh, back in 1977, we kind of, uh, it wasn't Brogan's then, was it? Was it Brian Hogan's? It was, no, it was no, Brogan's. It, 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 it was Brogan's then. Yeah. Uh, it, was, it was Brian Hogan's just before we started. Yes. And uh, when, when uh, Morris actually started working in Brogan's, and we used to rehearse there, we just had to get a few tunes and blah, blah, blah. And yeah. there was a competition in Limerick, and Keol shocked or hooked, I think it was. No, shocked or shocked. Uh, there was a competition in Limerick for traditional bands and rock bands. Yes. We won the uh, traditional section, it was over two nights, and there was another band that you've probably never heard of that won the rock section of it called U2. Yeah, they didn't really get anywhere, did no, they, after no, that I mean, night? Nobody has ever heard of them since. <laughs> what are they doing now, you know? <laughs> yeah, there was uh, some competition for, for both U2 and yourself. Yeah, uh, yeah, and, and it was... It, like, it was Probably at the time, I don't think there was any other thing as innovative as it was at the time. It was something to do yeah. with the uh, arts, a cultural sort of a week in Limerick. Yes. And they ran this competition. It was advertised nationwide. There was like there was twenty six bands in in our section. Section of it. On, yeah. And it went on over two nights. Yeah. And you had to qualify for the first night to make it to the second night. And yeah. So and so, and we got five hundred quid and a record contract, and that was the start. That was great. Okay, that was going. fantastic. But at that stage, you were all Ireland champions in your own right. You were all Ireland flu yeah. champion. Kieran was Benjo. Yeah, I Morris. Morris is a, a, a yeah. champion as well. And uh, I mean, you were already top class musicians are, uh, to win we were, Ireland. Yeah. We were, but, but but none of us had any idea that we were going to take this any further, you know, because we were yeah. playing together. And, and every time we played together, we kind of gelled. Yeah. But we didn't have any great ambitions to form a band or anything, you know. Yeah, you were just and friends. Like, just, just friends just, uh, who enjoyed vegan. playing together. Yeah. And, and we, we used to always kind of end up in Brogan's. Yeah. And then this competition came up and somebody said to us, let's why don't you put a band together and go in for the crack? And we said, sure, we will put the crack. And we yeah. did it. And, 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 and the rest is history. Is there, there you go. There you there go. The rest yeah, is history. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Mike Hanman didn't join you straight away. He didn't join no. You. He was with Tumbleweed, I think. Was he was. He, he, Mike was playing with Maura O'Connor. Maura O'Connor, yeah. At the time, and they were called Tumbleweed. And... Um, our original singer was a man from Galway called Tony Callan, and he was the man that was with us during the competition. So we made a record together. We were he was with us for about a year, maybe a year, a year and a half, and uh, we parted ways after a year and a half. And then Mike came in, and the great thing about Mike was that he had, he was writing songs at the time, and so for us that was a great thing because we wanted to write our own music. Yes, and that gave us a little yeah. kick to, to to do all that. So when Mikey joined, then. We had beautiful affair and walk away, and you know, so it was a good, yeah. good kickoff. You know? Well, I was a teenager, maybe a bit older than a teenager at that stage when Beautiful Affair came out. Yeah. We weren't winning our Islands in Hurling at the time. No, we were not. Then. We, we got a couple not. of leagues in that, but uh, to have our own band in County Clare, Stockton Swing, uh, and Beautiful Affair, like it give you a lift around, yeah. I remember around the town down the yeah, summertime. Yeah, like, yeah. It, it was Absolutely. Just, and it was great yeah. for us as well, like, because. You know, as I said, we, we never sort of started out to, to, to make any big bones about this. Like, yeah. we, we were just a bunch of friends playing music together. Yeah. And it kind of, it, it gathered its own legs and took its own life, you know. Maybe that's why it was so successful, because you so. didn't have the pressure. We didn't put any thought into it. Like, yeah. You know, and yeah. one thing led to another. And as I said, here we are 40 years later and we're still at it. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah. Beautiful Affair was the, is the outstanding, like, I mean, when you sang it there last night and played it. You sang a song last night. Uh, I think Mara O'Connor originally sang it. Uh, I can't. I'm just trying to think of the name of it. Oh, it wouldn't be take a chance with it. A slow one. It was a slow one, yeah. Yeah. Take yeah. a chance with it. Yeah. Chance, yeah. 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 Was Mara was, was originally on that track. She sang backing yeah. vocals on the on the original recording of that. 
Yeah. And uh, again, that's Jesus, that must be nearly as old as ourselves as that track. And again, right. one of Mikey's own songs, he wrote that himself. So, yeah, it was, uh, the, the crowd were just entranced with that one by itself in particular. Yeah. I, 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 I just he got, he got the. Yeah, yeah, and well, it's, as I said, it's it's an original. And as I said, that must be, that song it says, it's a good 40 years old as well. You know? as yeah, old as ourselves, it's an amazing yeah, song, yeah. And, you sang, and you sang it so well. Yeah. Uh, you started the tour then, when did you. Uh, this year, well. We we started to celebrate the whole 40 years thing, you know, somebody said to us, that's it's 40 years since, I was only uh, listening about Elvis the other day, Elvis right. is dead 40 years, right. and stopped uh, yeah, together yeah. 40 years, Yeah. and somebody said to us, uh, would you not consider doing a gig next year for, for the 40 